Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to another primer tutorial video about two very important mods I think are very, very cool here. The Kerbal Attachment System and the Kerbal Inventory System. Or rather, the more important way to say it, the Kerbal Inventory System with Kerbal Attachment System. Inventory is the base mod, Attachment System is the one that will be added onto it. Um, you can't use the one without the other. So, keep that in mind. If you do, you're probably going to break your game. I actually had some problems, too. Let's go ahead and open this up. We're going to install the Kerbal Inventory System, and then we're going to go ahead and install the Attachment System. Why do you have so many that you've downloaded? Because I've taken a few ticks, and I suck at this, and we are doing this one more time. Let's go ahead and load up the game. So, what do these mods do? It allows you to really, it really explains it in itself. You can attach in inventory things. You have inventory, and you can attach things. I think they both go hand in hand, so really, I couldn't really imagine you installing one without the other, but they are currently separate. Probably because it just uh, was originally attachment system, and Cospy probably rewrote the entire thing and started a new mod. Anyway, that's all speculation. Um, I do recommend, though, that you install both of them. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do here. Let's go ahead and go to the space plane hangar and look at our options. I'm gonna go ahead and load up a cargo rover here. Cargo rover, and you can see immediately we've got a couple mod parts. We've got these container boxes, we've got the container mounts here, if you can see that, those little X cross-shaped mounts there um, are what you can mount them on. And if we go ahead and right-click on these guys, it shows that we have an inventory. It's a preset inventory that I've already set up here, right-clicking on all of these, there we go. Alrighty, awesome. So we've got parts inside of parts. Great. How is this useful? Well, you can take the parts outside of the parts and place them places. Kind of, kind of straightforward. If I want to go and move this here, we can. Um, there is a max volume uh, for these small boxes here. So if I try to put this MK3 cockpit in here, it's going to say, No, you are that many liters too, too large. Can't put that in there. Alrighty. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I told you the max cost, the mass, and all that. Another thing we're going to have to pay attention to is the mass, cost also, but the mass, if it is greater than one ton, a Kerbal cannot move it by himself. I believe it is one ton per Kerbal. So if you have a whole bunch of Kerbals around, like four Kerbals, they can lift up to four tons. In the future, I believe there's going to be extra parts that allow you to move greater and more massive things, but that is that. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and move this over to a preset little base I set up here. And so one thing that a lot of people have trouble with in the current stock game, uh, now that resources have been added, have been, well, I've got this mining base, and it can get resources, and I want to transfer it into this lander, this really spiffy lander that I built, and uh, I can't do it. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. Let's go ahead and just drive on over here. We're going to stop. Don't hit Bill. That is Bill, I believe. And we're going to go ahead and take our brakes here. Let's go ahead and stop. Alrighty, so as you can see here, we got our lander, barely any fuel, we got our bill here, uh, and we got our driller here, four units of liquid fuel, nothing, it hasn't been running for very long, my apologies about that, but, alrighty, so, we got bill here, he's got his own inventory too, he's got nothing in the inventory, look at this, he can also remove his helmet, Star Trek, yes, he's got a max volume of 300 liters, cool, and we're gonna go ahead and look in the inventory, so, I believe in one of these inventories, I had something here that allows us to connect two parts or two ships together. And it is the pipes connectors. These pipe connector ports are the connector ports and the pipe endpoints from the previous edition of Kerbal Attachment System put together. And you just consolidated a couple of parts. Good. Great. I like that idea. Let's go ahead and just move them over. Great. If we want to go ahead and do something else, so going to this inventory, I think we can go and grab one of these, maybe. No? Maybe one? Uh, let's go and split one. There we go. There we go. We got one little connector uh, endpoint there. What else are we going to need? Let's go and close some of the stuff out. We're also going to need tools, because without tools, when you try to drop something, it just falls off. So I believe we've got some wrenches and some, and some uh, drills here. Uh, the drills are more capable than the wrenches. The wrenches don't allow stack connections. The drills do. Um, one is less expensive than the other, so I believe that if you're playing uh, the uh, career mode, go for the wrench unless you absolutely need the drill. I think that's how that goes. I don't normally play career. I play um, sandbox, but that is from what I understand. All right. 
So he's got all sorts of stuff in his inventory. Great, great, great. Now let's go ahead and go into his inventory again. And say we want to go and equip one of these wrenches. Let's go and equip that. Boop. And he's got this little wrench in his hand here. Look at that. All right. And we want to go ahead and attach one of these pipe endpoints. Well, if we want to go ahead and just drop it somewhere, we could. I'm just going to clicking and dragging out of the menu here. You don't want to do that because some things like to explode when they touch the ground. They, it's high, it's high, vol very volatile explodium or something. So let's go ahead and grab another one. And if I try to do this, it won't work. So we need to go ahead and um, do one more key grab here. Click, drag, hold down X. You hear that sound? Hold down X. We've locked it into place. Beautiful. Now let's go ahead and grab this thing. And we'll do the same thing on the ground. When you're, voo, 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 that sound means it's been locked into place. And then let's go and attach some others here. Hitting the X key here. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and grab another one here. Alrighty. So what does this do for us? Well, it allows us to connect these pipe endpoints. For those of you who have used, used the Kerbal attachment system in the past, you can do the same thing as you did in the future. Do in the future. Do do it now. Do it now. Let's go ahead and link that. All right. Perfect. And link and link. Perfect. So now we've got a we've went ahead and plugged in these two um, modules together, the the driller and the lander. We didn't necessarily need to have these little um, these pylons, but the pylons make things a little bit more stable um, since you've kind of linked it to the ground. All right, let's go and tab on over. Uh, what do we have here? No, come on. There we go. This is what we wanted. We have the right thing here, and as we can see now, the driller and the lander are now in the same boat, or they are the same vessel. If we want to go ahead and transfer fuel, we can. We transfer it back through, we can. Alrighty, so that actually improves your mining operation quite a bit. If we wanted to go ahead and unlink this thing, I believe we need, no, oh, hang on a second. No, nope, there's nothing to unplug. No, that is a different functionality. Um, we are going to need to get good old Bill here to unlink it. And I think all we need to do is just go ahead and right click on it, click unlink, boom, we are now unlinked. And that is that. Alrighty, so now that takes care of probably one of the most important features of the whole Kerbal Inventory Kerbal Attachment System. But let's go ahead and talk about a few others. Um, with this, we can go ahead and move around other parts, too. So I'm holding down the G key to grab, and we can go ahead and grab something and move it around. Pretty cool. You can move it from one place to another. Uh, an engineer does not need to do this, uh, because these parts are intended to be grabbed and locked and unlocked into these little mount uh, sockets here that I was explaining before. So we can go and do that. Move that here. Great. Now, if we try to grab one of these, it says it's too heavy. It says 2.6.2 is greater than 1. So that tells me we probably need three Kerbals in order to move that around. All they'll need to do is just be in the vicinity, and that basically unlocks it, and we can. Uh, this is what? This is 2. We need 2. Uh, we can grab this. Great, great. Now, another thing we can do is go ahead and detach these. Now, without the wrench, if we go ahead and go into here and unequip the wrench, or the screwdriver, rather, it won't let us grab because we need a tool. So we'll go ahead and do that again. I'm hitting three there to equip it and unequip it. That's great. Let's go ahead and detach that. <laughs> You've got to be careful. When you put things on the ground, they tend to explode. You'd rather put it in an inventory slot. Um, can we grab this? Yes, we can. Now you can actually put stuff back in into, into an inventory slot by holding on the G key, grabbing it, dropping it in. You can also move inventory to inventory here, which is very awesome. So if I want to go and move it here to here, you can. Very cool. Let's go and do one last thing here uh, at the base. Let's go ahead and attach one of these here. Let's go ahead and link it right there. Perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and have you just hang on there. We're going to go to the Space Center. And we're going to go and try out another winchy sort of thing. Uh... Here we go. Winch rover. Perfect. So this is kind of the classic Kerbal attachment system stuff right here. We've got radial winches. We've got little grappling hooks and whatnot. 
which are pretty cool. It allows us to um, basically attach to other things. So this one, this winch has a grappling hook attached to it. This one doesn't have anything to attach, attach to it. If we can go and just back up here, I believe, I can go and demonstrate the eject feature. Now you don't have to have just a grappling hook. They are harpoons, there are uh, anchors, there are um, just regular connector ports and various things. But if we go ahead and right click on here, click on eject. <laughs> Look at that, that's pretty cool. Now I believe we can go ahead and, yeah, that's not gonna let us move because we have, we've locked ourselves into place here, right? Ah, okay, oh no, I've broken it. Well, hopefully that kind of explains the things you can do. Um, I think we can go into the GUI here and just, uh, let's go ahead and winch this in, see what happens. Ah, okay, alrighty. Can we go ahead and unplug? All right, that unplugged the the uh, the grappling hook, which is great. The entire rover is stuck on its side. It's kind of worthless now. I'm trying to just describe. This is just a primer video of how this stuff works. I'm not the best. Day. I'm not. I, I. Yeah. Anyway, one other thing I want to go ahead and show you guys. Let's go to the space center. We're going to go and go into space, and go and visit Valentina. A very very awesome thing here. If we go into orbit, got a Kerbal X vessel here. Uh, oh wow, it is so dark. Let's go and time warp into the daylight here. We got Valentina. She's very, very happy. Now, one thing you can do, a lot of the different places, um, different pods and, and places that you can put Kerbals in, allow you to automatically set an inventory before you launch, which is really cool. And that's what I've done here. I'm going to take a look at Valentina's inventory. She already has an inventory. She's got EVA propellant. She's got the, the other stuff here. Let's go ahead and uh, EVA... Valentina, go and fly around a bit. Whee! Yay! You're flying around. Oh, but you're gonna run out of EVA propellant. You know, I should have, I don't know, maybe left her out here without any EVA propellant. But anyway, so say you use up all your EVA propellant. Well, you've got more here. Go ahead and right click on that and click on refuel and you can refuel that. Now her EVA propellant is back refueled again. Go ahead and refuel again. There we go. I think you can even equip this. Put that on her back. And that actually might, I don't know what that does. I think it just puts it on her back. I don't think it really does anything. So that is pretty cool. You can't remove her helmet. That's good. Don't try to kill your Kerbals. That's mean. Um, anything else I want to show you guys? Uh, let's go back into the VAB here, I think. And go into here, showing off the ability to adjust the inventory here. Each of these items have an inventory slot you can go ahead and manually set them. I would recommend, though, creating a sub-assembly with some sort of inventory that you normally give your Kerbals and saving it there and then just dragging everything over. It's a little tedious, but it's better to already have it in a group here than um, doing it manually every single time. So I can do that. This is empty, so I can get rid of that. Get another one. Do the same thing. Alrighty. I think one other thing I want to go and show you guys. Stat connections. Really, really fancy nifty here. Um, let's go and just launch Kerbals. Did we get any engineers? Hopefully, hopefully I get, we got one with an engineer. No, there's nobody in there. Hang on. We need to get an engineer inside this thing. Let's go ahead and get that. Uh, astronaut complex, engineer, Hudman. There you go. Let's go ahead and close. Get you in there. Make sure that Hudman... We'll have tools perfectly launch. EVA, alrighty. Take your helmet off. You don't need a helmet. Perfect, alrighty. So now let's go ahead and have you utilize one of these drills. Great. We can go ahead and detach this. Awesome, great. Oh, but we, uh, we did the wrong thing. We want to put it back. Perfectly fine. So you can, I believe, you can reattach it. Yes, you can, using a stack connection. You see that green glue there. So anything with an attachment node will allow you to do that. If you hit R, it'll actually switch which attachment node to do it. So I believe that is now upside down. So if we go ahead and grab it again. And grab it again. 
hitting X here. And now right side up. Holding R does that. And again, you can't move anything with a mass that is greater than one ton. This is way too heavy. Anyway, hopefully that is a good enough primer for showing you how to use the Kerbal attachment and Kerbal inventory system. They absolutely rock. I use them all the time. Anyway, I think that's going to be it. Hopefully this helps you out, guys. Later, everyone. Once again, I am Shimmy. Keep on quizzing quest nuts. Peace out.